listening, there'll never be no comparison. You're live on the show, sit back and have a listen. All right, all right, LDBC, this is your boy Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. Okay, folks, uh, I'm going to go ahead and give my thoughts about UFC Countdown uh, 215. I saw this, uh, you know, I got up at about 3 o'clock in the morning to watch this because I fell asleep when I got home because, man, I spent the whole day training, so it's kind of like, oh, man. But, uh, you know, now it's here, and the video dropped, and I made the video, I fell asleep again, and then got back up, and now I'm uploading it, so cool. All right, guys. What I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about the two training camps. I'm going to talk about the training camp of Valentina and Amanda. I'm going to talk about things that I liked about them doing in the training camp. And I'm going to talk about things that maybe things that they should have done that I didn't see. Okay. Now, this don't mean that if, if I think they should have did it, this don't mean that they didn't do it. They probably could have did it. But, you know, we as fans, we probably couldn't see everything behind the scenes. So that's where I'm going with this. Okay. Um, also, okay, at the request, okay of a subscriber to this channel i'm going to discuss briefly very briefly uh demetrius johnson and ray board um normally when i discuss the men the races are in full force so i'm just going to tell you like this if anything remotely seems like a racist comment anything even trickling along that line i'm just going to block you and delete everything you say that's just it okay all right so here goes let's talk about this fight okay First of all, I love the job that the UFC did with this. They did a phenomenal job, man. They, they showcased all four of these fighters. I mean, you really felt like you were there in training camp with them when, you, when I was watching this, okay? The UFC, they did a, a magnificent job with this countdown. I mean, I, I think this is one of their best ones that I think that they produced. Um, you know, with Valentina... I'm looking at his photograph and I'm looking at the countdown. You know, Valentina definitely has more muscle mass than she did back in July. Um, Valentina put on some muscle mass. And I'm going to tell you why a person would put on muscle mass. Um, Valentina is expecting this fight to be a very physical fight where Amanda's going to try to body her. So, and what I mean by body, she's going to try to bully Valentina around the octagon and try to throw Valentina around. But, you know, this time, Valentina, they're not having it. Valentina done put on some muscle mass. So now, here's my first theory. I think that this fight definitely, she's not knocking out Amanda Nunes standing. It's not going to happen, okay? And really, can you think, have you, saw, have you ever, is there a fighter that ever knocked Amanda Nunes out standing? No. Valentina is going to knock Amanda Nunes out, but she's going to do it on the ground. I know, right? That sounds kind of really crazy. But, yeah, I think a Valentina is preparing to have a BJJ war with Amanda Nunes. And I think Valentina is looking for the knockout, not the submission. See, so y'all y'all got to get where I'm going. I think Valentina is looking for a knockout. Valentina got the attitude that she actually want to punish this girl. Like, for real, all jokes aside, Valentina acting like she want to punish Amanda Nunes. Not even just win. No, not just win. I'm talking about punish Amanda Nunes. Like, she got some displaced aggression, man that she's like just ready and now one thing that i took out of the camp that valentina did that i liked okay the first thing i like is that valentina you know they travel they use a variety of different people to get a, a, a variety of different looks i like that they do that another thing too the most important thing is antonina is back now antonina being back in this camp does a lot of things for valentina Antonina is also on the level of Amanda Nunes skill-wise, okay? You can't put that away. That, that's, that's a fact. Antonina is definitely on Amanda Nunes' level when it comes to MMA. So she's going to give Valentina a lot of great looks, okay? She's going to give Valentina some of the best looks. And I think that Antonina can do a good job of simulating Amanda Nunes. The one thing, though, that Antonina can't simulate is Amanda's power. I think, in, in my opinion, okay? In my opinion, I think that Amanda is more powerful, has more power than Antonina. Now, how would they remedy that? Some people will say, well, you know, Valentina could probably spar with some guys. Yeah, you know what? That's that's true. Um, I I used to spar with women, and a lot of the guys that I knew spar with women sometimes. And sometimes, you know, the guys, we just don't put out 100% because... We don't want to clip them and actually seriously injure them. And, you know, when Antonina, you know, she told me in an interview, she said, yeah, well, you know, I was knocked out, you know, by a guy in sparring one time. And, you know, that's the dangers of women sparring with men. You know, that sometimes you don't have a choice. You know, you don't have a choice. You don't have women in your gym that can actually do, you know, what the men can do or, you know, give you power. 
So I get it on both senses. So, you know, I know some people are not going to listen to what I just said. But some people get it on both senses. You know, like, I get it. If there's a woman in there with some power, I much prefer the women to spar the women. Because the men are going to take it easy. And, you know, it, it can take one kick or one punch that get his attention and then boom. You know, he go all in and, you know, it, it, it can be serious. Like, I, I seen a girl knocked out in the gym too, man. And, uh, you know, she was, uh, you know, and I told her, listen, <laughs> you know, listen, you trying to get a good look. Don't go that hard. And, you know, she clipped him and he turned around and hit her with an elbow and, yeah, he knocked her out, man. Clean. Knocked her out cold. And, you know, when he realized what happened, he was like, oh, man, okay, I'm sorry. And, you know, it's just in the heat of the moment because if you're a fighter, that's how you think. But all in all, I think Valentina, they had a complete camp. And I think the best part of their camp is getting Antonina back in camp, okay, with her. And then you had Pavel. Pavel in 20 seconds, I tell you. I wish they would have interviewed Pavel longer. I wish. You know, that that's, that's the one thing that irritated me about this thing. Well, two things irritated me. Two things irritated me. They didn't give Pavel enough airtime. Maybe Pavel didn't want to be on TV that long. I don't know. But from listening to Pavel, uh, yeah, man. Valentina looking for a knockout. And I think Valentina is going to attempt to do it on the ground. <laughs> I think she's going to try to pummel Amanda Nunez to death. And if you go back and look at some of Nunez's fights, you know the fights that she lost, the ones that she really, really took a beating, they were on the ground. There's something that they figured out with Amanda's ground game. They figured out something that's missing. There's something. I think they figured it out, and I think they know how they're going to attack Amanda Nunez. I don't know. Call me Coach Stradamus. But I think that they know how they're going to approach this thing. Hmm. It's going to be interesting. All right, let's go to Amanda Nunez. Um, Amanda Nunez looks like she's definitely, you know, leaner and more toned. She and her leg muscles, man, could grief, man. Amanda Nunez has definitely acquired a lot of strength in her legs. You can tell. Even by the way she rotating through her punches, yeah. Amanda Nunez done got some pop in her punches, man. And I think she's preparing that right hand. I think Amanda Nunez, I don't know. I don't know. See, I've been saying that Amanda Nunez is going to try to get this fight to the ground. I don't know, though. I really don't know if that might be it. I think Amanda Nunez may want to keep this fight standing this time. Man, wouldn't that be something, man, if they kept the fight standing the entire fight and they go to war? Ah, oh, that'll be something, man. Now, I will hope for that. Sometimes, you know, I like BJJ skills, and sometimes BJJ skills, even to a person like me, I'm a pugilist. I'm a pugilism fan, so I can see the attributes, but sometimes I do want to see who got the best hands. Sometimes I do. This is a fight that I actually want to see. But I think Amanda Nunez is looking to stand, like really stand for long periods of time. And I'm thinking, mm, okay. Amanda Nunez looks very sharp, y'all. She looks sharp. She looks extremely sharp. Her punches are crisp. She's rotating through her punches better. And I think that Amanda Nunez took that extra time and did exactly what she was supposed to do. See, this is what Amanda Nunez should have been doing back in March, man. But nonetheless, Amanda Nunez, guys, she's going to be at this fight. She's going to be there, and she's going to be ready. You know, I get a little frustrated sometimes. I get frustrated with, you know, casuals. I do because, you know, these are these are the two top women's bantamweights in the world. They're the two top bantamweights in the world. And it's like, for people, casuals, to say, yeah, well, you know, uh, Amanda's going to come in and knock out Valentina in the first round, or Valentina is just going to finish Amanda off in the first round. You know, I don't understand sometimes what's wrong with people. And it's like, I just want to take a screwdriver and drill a head and put in some common sense. But I digress, okay? But Antonina said something very telling in this fight. Antonina said, listen, Valentina finna go in here and destroy Amanda. From the, from the opening bell to the last bell. <laughs> Antonina said, uh, Valentina finna get in here and destroy this girl. And I'm putting it in my own words, you know. But that's what she said essentially. Okay, Valentina. It's going to get in here and destroy Amanda. She's going to beat Amanda up from the first round to however many rounds this thing lasts. Uh, Valentina finna get in here and whoop this girl PG-13 channel. <laughs> oh, man. But anyway, um, also, uh, now one thing that I took out of Amanda, Amanda was using a variety of training partners. I mean, 
And I thought Mike Brown. I think Mike Brown is doing a good job of preparing Amanda. I think. I think he's 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 good. Mike Brown is very good. Um, one thing that you know, I feel like maybe okay, maybe Amanda could have. I think wrestling Nina Anzaroff is good for certain things, you know, for speed work. But I think wrestling Nina Anzaroff, that's not going to give you a good look when you're wrestling Valentina. That's a difference. And hopefully Amanda Nunez got some partners that they're about the size of Valentina, that's got the same speed as Valentina. You know, people, and I couldn't, none that I could actually see, you know, in, in, in Eclipse, and none that I can see on her Instagram or Twitter. You know, I don't know. It seems like she wrestles Nina Anzaroff a whole lot. And I'm just saying, I don't know if that's a great thing to be doing, you know. You know, yeah, she need to be wrestling somebody comparable to, you know, Valentina's size and speed. And also skill set, okay? Skill set, because Nina Ansarov not a skill, okay? She's not as skilled as Valentina. She don't need, she don't have 10% of Valentina's uh, skill set. And speaking of Nina Ansarov, I'm so sick and tired of Nina Ansarov giving interviews. I'm sick of it. You know what? Uh, you know, and they try to say, well, Amanda's English is very limited. I, I'm not trying to hear that. Look. I want to hear Amanda Nunez talk. I don't care if Amanda Nunez repeat the same damn thing 50 times. I don't want to see Nina Anzarov giving the interviews. <sighs> Sorry, y'all. Sorry. I didn't I didn't mean to go off like that. But I'm just saying. I want to see her giving the interviews. I mean, even if Nina tells Amanda what to say, I'm good with that too. Oh, we good. We good. I'm good with Nina telling Amanda, look, say this. Listen to the question. Say this. I'm good with that. But I want to hear what Amanda thinks. I, I don't want to hear Nina Anzarov talking. And they did too much putting Nina Anzarov in there. I, no, I want Amanda's thoughts. But all in all, these two, they've had two great camps, guys. They've had two great camps. And, guys, this is going to be a fight. This is going to be a war. It's going to be a war, people. This is going to be a war. But... I don't know, boy, Antonina, boy, she said it chilling, though. Boy, it was chilling. Antonina was like, look, <laughs> we, we taking this thing from bell to bell. It, it's it's finna be on. Valentina finna destroy this girl. That's what Antonina said. <laughs> Strong words by Antonina Shevchenko. Okay. All right. Well, we'll see. I, I, okay. I don't know, Antonina. I, I, I think this going to be a war. Okay. Um, and also, too, Nina Anzarov did say something. Now, one thing that Nina Anzarov said that was very chilling. She said, you know... When Amanda won the title, you know, she got to a high point. And see, this is just what I've been telling y'all. Amanda Nunez lost her hunger when she won that title. And if Amanda Nunez win, it's going to be a positive and it's going to be a negative. Okay? The positive is, yeah, she's defending that title. And she's beating everybody that they put in front of her. But the negative is, what version of Amanda Nunez now are we going to see? Are we going to see another Amanda Nunez that take a hiatus and just get missing and start living the fruits of the labor? Is that what we're going to see? Or are we going to see that Amanda Nunez is hungry? I just, to me, Amanda Nunez don't look as hungry as she has in the past. That's just my opinion. Valentina looked like <laughs> she ready to go eat a bear. Let's talk about Demetrius Johnson and Ray Borg for one minute. Um, I've studied Demetrius Johnson's style and I studied Ray Borg's style this morning just really looking at some of the nuances Ray Borg finna get in here and get punished y'all this fight not gonna even be close and I'm just being honest with y'all I know might have some Ray Borg fans I could care less this fight not gonna be close man uh, Demetrius Johnson he's too fast he's too hungry Demetrius Johnson is hungry I get the feeling that Ray Borg just happy to be there. You know, Ray almost gave me the feeling that he happy to be fighting in the fight. Like, really? That's the fight? Okay. So, wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, Ray, no. Ray don't come off to me as hungry. Now, he comes off to me as a very hard, hard worker. Ray Borg does. But as hungry, no. Ray don't come off to me as being very hungry. He's just kind of like, okay, I'm here. Like, he's in the moment. Demetrius Johnson is hungry. This guy's hungry, and he is going, he's, he's looking for the kill. This guy, he's a freak of nature when he's in there getting that work in, man. Demetrius Johnson hungry, man. Demetrius is going to devour this guy. He's going to devour this kid, Ray Borg. Okay, he's going to devour him. Uh, who are they going to get to beat Demetrius Johnson? I'm sorry. Unless Ray Borg can get that lucky punch. Ray, Ray seems to be a pretty decent counter puncher, but no, man. I've seen Ray. Ray just charges in. Yeah, he, if he charge in against Demetrius Johnson with those barrage of punches, Ray Borg going, Ray Borg gonna go to sleep. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, 
I'm, t I'm calling this early, man. Demetrius Johnson going to get in here and devour this boy. But you guys tell me what you think. This is your boy, Coach Sheldon Harrison. I'm done. What are you waiting on? Subscribe to the best ones in my platform on YouTube.